What's up everyone, Thorgon here, and today I'm going to be telling you how you can start farming the troll in Dark and Darker starting at level 1. The fresh character, how you can just immediately start getting in there and gathering all that loot. Alright, so first things first, you're going to roll yourself a brand new Warlock, and then, once you get into the game, you're going to want to go to your spell tabs and make sure you have Hellfire, Curse of Pain, and Power of Sacrifice equipped. These are going to be your three main spells. Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice for healing yourself up, and Hellfire for actually dealing damage to the troll. You can take Bolt of Darkness in one of your extra slots, and then Curse of Weakness if you want to have just something to use your last spell memory that you start with. Next, once you get into your perks page, you're going to want to take Torture Mastery and Blow of Corruption. Torture Mastery so you can actually heal with your Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice, and Blow of Corruption so you can clear mobs easier and deal with those pesky rogues if they try to get in your face, or just any other players. When it comes time to actually fight the troll, there are only a few things you need to keep in mind. The first is spacing. You need to try to stay right at the edge of the troll's range so that you can dodge safely and not trigger any of its more dangerous attacks. Number two is positioning. Try to always be circling the troll clockwise. This will cause this attack to be much more easily dodged. For the wide swings, walk away from the troll, and it should be easy to dodge with correct spacing. And for the overhead swing, just move to the side. You can still take splash damage if you're too close though. For the large overhead swing, try to put some distance between you and the troll, and then jump when the smash is about to land. When the troll roars, you need to be just inside its range, and then you turn away from the troll and either walk sideways or forwards away from it. You move slower when walking backwards and full speed sideways. If you start moving too soon, it will charge towards you before swinging and then it becomes a crapshoot as you just have to guess if it will do a high or low swing. I always just go for the low since it's easier to dodge and you just need to attempt to jump over it when the troll swings. 3. Spam Hellfire whenever you can, such as after the roar or overhead smash. It's okay to cancel an almost complete spell casting if it keeps you alive. If you're worried about other players, or just your health in general, then take your time and try to weave in more Curse of Pains to your attacks to heal. And lastly, be patient. You will make mistakes and die to the troll while you're learning. Sometimes you will be unable to get to it in time to fight it before the circle closes in. And sometimes you will get camped by some other loved mother rogues who can't kill themselves so they can go leech off your hard work then fail to get out afterwards anyways. These strategies also work for the high roller troll, as the troll only gains a few new attacks and they don't affect this strategy at all. If you space well, it'll work the exact same. Once you get more confident, you can bring in better gear and kill the troll much faster, and actually be full health and able to defend yourself afterwards. Anyways, that's about it. I'll leave some full kill clips here if you want to see some examples. Otherwise, good luck, and go get that loot.